This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, War, Peace and the Presidency. I'm Amy Goodman with Juan Gonzalez. As we continue to look at Donald Trump's victory over Kamala Harris and the Republicans taking control of the Senate, we don't know yet about the House. We're joined by Ralph Nader, the longtime consumer advocate, corporate critic, former, well, four time presidential candidate, author of many books, including most recently, Let's Start the Revolution Tools for Displacing the Corporate State and building a country that works for the people. Ralph Nader is the founder of the monthly newspaper, The Capitol Hill Citizen. Ralph, thanks so much for joining us. Your response to uh, Donald Trump's victory. Um, it looks like he not only won the Electoral College, but will win the popular vote this time, as he didn't in the two past elections. Well, I mean, Juan, there's going to be a lot to digest here. This is a collapse of the Democratic Party. Uh, they didn't get their vote out that they wanted. They, they were several million votes below what they expected. And, of course, that made the difference in an electoral college system in the uh, sw swing states. Uh, but the, the problem is much more serious than that. Uh, basically, we now are a country— uh, under a dictatorial uh, corporate state. Uh, the, uh, Trump is basically a, a magnet in, and a trap for the Democrats. They spent tens of millions of dollars on ads going after Trump instead of going after the four years uh, that Trump uh, deep six so many critical issues uh, and positions in uh, in his term as president, so the the problem is it's so it's so so many variables here to deal with. It, it all started, Amy, uh, when the Democrats uh, abandoned half the country to the red states. That's devastating. Then they uh, started getting corporate cash in 1979, dialing for the same commercial values. That blurred their difference from the New Deal-type Democrats to the corporate Democrats. Then they contracted out uh, the election to these corporate conflicted profiteering consulting firms, which the mass media never seemed to want to investigate in this campaign. And then they abandoned uh, public media. Basically, they abandoned radio uh, to the Rush Limbaugh's and, and created the Reagan uh, Democrats. And then they never learned from their mistakes. They didn't learn from the mistakes of Hillary Clinton in 2016. Uh, then they, they never fire anybody after they lose uh, in one state after another to horrendous, the worst Republican Party in history. And so what, what is the message that they gave to the American people? <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> the message is we're, uh, Trump is terrible. And you don't, you can't believe how bad the Republican Party is. It's too general a message. Just simple. A, a vast majority of people think corporations have too much control over their lives. They didn't fill the blanks. Denial of health care benefits. And they didn't fill the blanks on a living wage. They didn't fill the blanks on cracking down on corporate crooks. They didn't fill the blanks on reversing a tax system which undertaxes the very wealthy and the big corporations. They didn't reverse themselves really on trade. They didn't know how to rebut uh, Trump on immigration. And we called the, called the people coming in uh, rapists, criminals, drug traffickers, uh, etc. Instead of saying, well, they're fleeing oppressive countries that are backed by the U.S. dictators and oligarchs in Central and South America. They didn't say that millions of Americans trust immigrants uh, to harvest their food, to care for their children, to care for elderly, uh, to provide critical services that nobody wants to work in in, 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 the, in the U.S. 
So they, they, you know, there's such a bill of particulars against this Democratic Party, and and what's happened, of course, is that millions of people uh, are basically saying we're sick of throwaway lines, we're sick of uh, not having the government return the benefits of massive taxation to us. We're sick of all we hear about is empire abroad. All we hear about is more military budgets by the Democrats and the Republicans in Congress, giving uh, the generals more than they asked for, uh, eating the public budgets that should be providing public services and public infrastructure in communities all over the country, uh, creating uh, key jobs. Now, we tried to, to straighten out these Democrats. 24 civic leaders in 2022, uh, going into the present time, tried to tell them how to communicate, what to communicate with all the people, and, and they didn't listen. Uh, the Democratic Party severed any kind of response. That's Nancy Pelosi, uh, that's Chuck Schumer, you name them, with the civic community in Washington, D.C. The ones that— well, Ralph. <laughs> Uh, Ralph, let me ask you, for the progressive movement now as it faces uh, the return of uh, Donald Trump, uh, what do you think are the, the the next steps in terms of resistance or reorganization that have to occur? Well, it's got to be focused on Congress. Uh, the House is uh, not yet resolved, but only Congress can stop the Trumpsters. It isn't just Trump. Trump is a figurehead. Trump is a bullhorn. It's the Trumpsters. It's uh, the Heritage Foundation. It's 2025. It's the takeover uh, of uh, of departments that are uh, dedicated to standing up for the people. The Environmental Protection Bureau, the Consumer Financial Protection uh, Bureau, the, the uh, Auto Safety Bureau, the Federal Trade Commission, the Justice Department. Uh, these are all going to be turned into virulent, vengeful uh, or inactive uh, governments. Uh, they want to destroy the civil service, bring it back to the spoiled system. Uh, we're in for huge turmoil. One can say that uh, the election yesterday really elected President Vance. Trump's not going to last. Uh, he, he's going to disintegrate. Uh, and uh, Vance is in a position to become the next president. So the, what has to be done... One is massive focus on Congress, which is the main constitutionally authorized lever uh, to hold the executive branch accountable. Uh, Build for 2026. Uh, the Democrats will have uh, far fewer people up for the Senate than the Republicans, uh, unlike uh, this year. And they've got to stop uh, uh, blasting away at people who want to challenge the Democratic Party. The party says to everybody on their side, you know how bad the Republicans are? you got nowhere to go. They spent, uh, they spent a lot of money attacking the Green Party, the tiny Green Party. Instead of listening uh, to William Barber, Reverend William Barber, who said, look, there's 80 million people who aren't going to vote. A lot of them are low-wage workers. If you get 15 percent of low-wage workers who aren't voting to go to the polls, the Democrats would have won. They didn't listen to them. They didn't listen to all the citizen groups who know how to talk to people, not just liberal patients or liberal workers, but conservative workers, conservative patients. Remember, a vast majority of this country wants to tax the undertaxed wealthy in the corporation. They want to break up the big banks. And above all, in poll after poll, they say that corporations have too much control over their lives. Sherrod Brown pulled, pulled in his horns and lost. Bernie Sanders campaigned on corporate power, and he won in a landslide in Vermont. And, and uh, uh, Harris refused to campaign with Bernie Sanders, but she campaigned in several states with Liz Cheney of the criminal uh, Cheney family and the invasion of Iraq that killed over a million Iraqis. So the blunders were endless. Uh, it was basically turning their back on the progressive, uh, the genuine populist uh, 
uh, constituency in this country. Uh, and Bernie, B- Bernie, of course, supported Harris, but his positions were rejected constantly. He said, get the living wage up, get universal health care up, crack down on corporate crooks, increase Social Security benefits that have been frozen uh, for over 50 years, and get the taxation on the wealthy. She ignored all that. Just throw away lines.